Yeah. David, you're on a Saturday morning in the right in Harlow, but when you're at conference, what messages do you take back? I thought it was all about the cost of living. It was about utility bills and how high they are. It was about childcare costs and how much it costs families, particularly women struggling with that. I thought we had great messages for those many families with those issues across the country. And we have to take that fight month on month, year on year, right up to the next general election. Do you think the uh, Ed Miliband's proposals regarding energy, do you think that's going to come to fruition? Well, it's been interesting to see the response of the companies themselves. Um, you know, let's see where we get to. But I think it is right to say, look, if I become Prime Minister, I've got to do something about gas and electricity bills spiralling out of control, companies taking huge profits, and the British public, I think, are responding and saying, yes, thank you very much. We need a freeze on these bills. Because when we're talking about cost of living, it's, 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 do you find in your own constituency and when you travel around the country, there are people just saying, my money, whether it's £100 being spent in Tesco's, and saying, what? my money's just been eaten away. What they're saying is very simple. Um, my earnings aren't going up but everything else is going up, and some of this isn't fair. The supermarket costs are rising, the average shop is rising, um, uh, bills are rising left, right and centre, the cost of childcare seems to be going up, after-school activities for your kids seem to be going up, and they want a government that's responsive to those issues and understand what it means when the pocket's being hit in this way. Thank you very much.